I focus on the nostrils instead of the rising and falling of the belly since I've started meditation. Any, are there any downsides? I've never used the nostrils, so I'm going either by hearsay or by, um, what's the word, Con conjecture. By hearsay, the Visuddhimagga says that the nostrils um, or mindfulness of breathing becomes more and more refined as you go. Um, the only re but the only reason, uh, categorical reason, or reason for, uh, a decisive reason that was given for using the stomach is that in Burma, the, in Burma, mindfulness of breathing is understood to, per to take place at the nose. And mindfulness of breathing is considered a samatha meditation. It's considered a meditation that starts off leading you through the jhanas and later on is used to, can be used to bring about vipassana. But uh, technically it's the, uh, the uh, jeto vimuti, a person who practices samatha first and then vipassana. In our technique we practice starting with vipassana, so in, it was simply in order to avoid the accusation, these are the words of Mahasi Sayado, in order to avoid the accusation that he was teaching Samatha, he switched to, and it may not have been him, it may have been his teacher, but they switched to, he says that they switched to the stomach. The, the, uh, the, the, the reason for it, the reason for needing to use or, or for deciding to use the stomach, is that the Visuddhimagga says that a person who practices vipassana should start by focusing on the four elements, which are the building blocks that make up the physical aspect of experience. So the earth element is the feeling of hardness and softness. The air element is the feeling of pressure or flaccidity. The fire element is the feeling of, of heat and cold and uh, the water element is the cohesion, cohesion that, that keeps things together, or that makes things stick together. Um, in this case, this is the air element. That's, um, that's regards to the texts and theory, and, and as, I as I said, hearsay, so, so well, textual arguments. Um, conjecture, uh, it seems to me that because this one becomes more and more refined, and based on, I guess also hearsay, what I've heard from meditators, watching the nostril can be quite soothing. And as a result of it getting more and more refined, there's the uh, tendency, or there appears to be the tendency to lead towards samatha. A person who practices mindfulness at the nostrils, I would conjecture is more likely, and from what I've seen and, and discussed with meditators who insist on using it, more likely to lead to samatha meditation. It's not wrong, it's just tends to be more roundabout and then you have to eventually get the meditator to focus it on, on it as ultimate reality. Um, but it would generally be after they've already entered into the jhanas, which, which takes time. The, the stomach, on the other hand, being a coarse and rather large object is subject to um, well, well is, is an obvious or, or leads to the clear awareness of ultimate reality quite quickly then there's no opportunity for the arising of calm watching the stomach and this is a problem that people have with this meditation they think it's wrong they think it's bad they think it's a problem because they don't feel calm because they don't feel peaceful but uh, watching the stomach you're going to see impermanent suffering and non-self quite quickly you're going to get get quickly into um, issues of having to let go or or suffer it it's a question of um, it leading directly to vipassana. So there's not, it's not that there's disadvantages, it's just 
a tendency to lead to samatha first, lead to tranquility first. Uh, whereas the practice that we do is more like insight first and subsequent tranquility. Okay? <clears throat>